This campaign is the new Christmas ad for Sainsbury's. It's a big Christmas ad, it comes with huge expectations and it was a real challenge. It features uh, Mog, Judith Carr's iconic cat. The story was written by Judith Kerr for Save the Children and James Rouse adapted it for the commercial narrative. I'd written a character description of who Mog was, again based very firmly on Judith's books. I never really thought I'd see Mog in 3D. I believe Judith is quoted as saying, Mog is rather dim. Yes, lovably dim was our brief to the guys at Framestore. And so, yeah, the task in hand was to bring Mog to life, and I think we did that. Yeah, so I mean, our clearest and sort of biggest task was taking Judith's sketches of Mog and making a photo real version of that. Making sure Mog kept the character of Mog and then translating that character into movement as well. We went through every single illustration and every single drawing that Judith had, had done of Mog. We quickly settled on, on one particular illustration on, on the front cover of Mog the Forgetful Cat. And we took that still and we kind of worked it up. It was the still image they created that made us understand how we were going to create the character out of that. Generally, when it comes to recreating anything in CG, reference is key. <laughs> So we did loads of cat research. We had dedicated computers running cat videos 24-7. The millions there are on the internet, I think they've watched them all. We also took a trip to Batsy Cat's home. We got to see some cats that had no fur at all, which we used as reference for some of the skin. You have to constantly refer back to how things look and behave and react in the real world, because that's ultimately what we're trying to emulate. James really wanted a character, a face that could portray emotion. A lot of the emotion and personality of her comes through her eyes. It's very subtle, small, tiny movements to create this emotion. In terms of her physicality, she moves like a kind of heavy cat. We've put a lot of focus in trying to make sure that her body movement is as realistic as a real cat. And then it becomes weeks, months of gently getting the animation to the correct place. Physically, emotionally, and emotionally being, to some extent, the trickiest part. Mog's Christmas Calamity has been an overwhelming success, and we couldn't really have asked for more. The ad has created an enormous emotional response. It's had over 28 million views on YouTube, which is way more than its competitors even being praised as the nation's favourite Christmas ad. I believe that Mog has been wonderfully created for the modern age. The kind of nuances and touches that uh, the team at Framestore have brought to Mog have been um, just extraordinary. The campaign as a whole was a complete success. When the books went on sale in the store, they sold so many that they went to the top of the bestseller list over the Christmas period. And when the toys went on sale, they completely sold out. We are really pleased that the campaign has been able to raise over £1.5 million for Save the Children and that all our hard work has had such an immediate impact on the charity. Reading is such a huge thing for children and so anything that can help that I think is terrific. <laughs>